going to learn how to play song number 57, The Snake Charmer on Saxophone. In this song, we're going to learn about retardandos and fermatas. If you look at the end of the line where it says R-I-T, that stands for retardando. And what a retardando means is you're going to gradually slow down for the rest of the song or the rest of this section. So every note is going to get a little bit slower. And then at the very last note, you see a bird's eye. It's like a hook with uh, a dot in the middle. And that's called a fermata. And that means you're going to hold the last note as long as you can or as long as you want. If you have a conductor, you're going to hold that last note until the conductor says stop. So you're going to hold it longer than the actual value that's in the music. Because you're playing it by yourself, you can play it as long as you'd like. So we're going to start at the very beginning and walk through the notes. You have two eighth notes as a pickup into the beginning, into the first full measure. So we have A, B, C, B, A. Let's just play that. Ready? Two, three. <laughs> or the retardando. We're just going to make sure you know the notes. We have A, B, C, E. Let's just play that. Ready? Uh. Now you're going to slur B to C and then you're going to land on the A for the last note. Ready? Um. Now let's play the pickup to the last measure. So it's the last two notes before the last measure right where it says R-I-T. We're going to play those notes, and every note we play is going to get slower and slower and slower until we get to the last note where we're going to hold it. It adds a little drama to the music. So if you were to play the notes, I'm going to read them. It's going to be A, B, C, E, B, C, A. So it, it adds a little bit of excitement to the end of the song. Listen to it. It's going to sound like this. slower and slower and slower until we ended on the last note which we're gonna make big and we're gonna um, hold it out nice and long let's go back to the very beginning of the song we'll walk through the notes but this time when we get to the end we're gonna add the retardando and the fermata so we have in the beginning a b c b a let's play that one two three <laughs> Let's go back to the very beginning of the song and play the whole song. 
If you notice, it does say Andante in the beginning, which means it's going to be a medium slower tempo. And it also says piano, so we're also going to play it soft. When you're playing the song, I want you to imagine one of those old wicker baskets and a snake kind of sizzling out as we play, dancing out of the basket. So, ya da 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 That old Egyptian song that I'm sure you recognize. Here we go from the beginning. I'm going to count one, two, three, and then we'll begin. One, two, three. <laughs> Good job. I can't wait to hear your recordings.